Welcome back, everybody, for uh, Princes of Russia, number four, Volga Steps. Now, what was I doing? I remember I was uh, struggling to do anything, in fact. Because we have, like, no food income and very little gold income. Oh, there's some gold here. But this is, in general, not so great. Actually selling some food. Omega lull. Oh, that's not great. Yes, there are still some fishies here I can take. Oh, wait, I wonder if there's anything over here. Let's go over here. I mean, I see there, that there is gold there. But we do have access, you know, at least a decent amount of access to gold. I hear attacky sounds. Okay, that's some stuff. Go, Drushna, go! Oh my god, they're actually going to kill my castle with just a bunch of random cav archers and kashiks and stuff. Maybe I can repair? That was kind of dumb of me. Um... No, that's not too useful. I mean, we have tons of stone. I guess I just need to build more castles? Lots of gold here, actually. It's just like, it doesn't stop, man. Oh, now the corgi wants out. Alrighty. You're going to go down in just a moment. Whatever. There's only so much I can do. Oh, there's still tons of stone over here. Even some forage bushes. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I still have all of these guys. And there's more stone over there. Can I? I don't think I can do anything with these. I think they're literally useless at this point. Here they are. Okay, we're gonna make some trebuchets. We're gonna make a bunch more halves. We're gonna actually sell some of our very limited food just because it's such good value. I just need to kind of slowly rebuild things back up because... I didn't I used to have a castle here? 
Maybe they were over here. I don't know. This map is huge. Also, is there anything over here? There's also even more stone over there. How bad's the stone price again? 34. That's pretty bad. Not often that you see the, <laughs> the food at 309. Oh my god. Get some more scorpions. Honestly, could use a few more lumberjacks. Just more vills in general. Alright, we got a few trebs. Got some more stuff. Leave that for the time being. Like, these guys should die pretty hard. That's a big scary army. But they are Tatars, so the Scorpions should absolutely melt through their halberdiers. Oh, do they, do, they, do they not have infinite resources? Oh, boy. Well, we're back to a whopping two on food. Ugh. 55 pop, and it's so hard to increase it. I guess I just- I am just not mining enough gold. Not a whole heck of a lot over here. Where's more gold? Lots of gold over here. You're gonna get even more scorpions. We just need to keep our melee units nice and close and comfy. This really is like a puzzle. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. But hey, it means that they're not attacking my other stuff. Okay, let's see if we can start sniping some castles. Also, let's try and reclaim this castle spot. Which would actually then give us access to these berries over here, which is more food! Very exciting. Get him! Oh, really? One of my trebs? Oh, whoops. Get another TC here, and another TC here. This is just like a very different approach you have to take. It's like you have no food, but a lot of wood and stone. <laughs> But you're not a sieve that has, like, super good fortifications. <laughs> C4 
See, like, we can deal with this. Okay, maybe not all that stuff. It's gonna be a bit of a stretch. But I mean, we have 17 heavy scorpions. That has to count for something, right? Right? Right, guys? I mean, they're running out of melee units, not really, I guess. But hey, they'll soon run out of uh, ways to produce Keshiks, I think. Okay, we got that one. Let's fall back just a little bit. Unfortunately, no fish traps. Oh wait, those are forage bushes. That's a little bit more food. Oh no! Oh man, Kasakia did not think that they'd be the strongest player on the map. And they started in Feudal Age. I mean, they said they'd build up eventually, but I never thought they'd build up to be stronger than freaking Volga Bulgars. Oh, that's happening. Let's send you back, like, all the way over here. It's actually probably safer. Let's get this boar. See, they can't produce Kashyyyks anymore. You're looking at a, uh, a veteran of the HD Forgotten campaigns here. I know how to win these grindy-ass scenarios. Like, yeah, this is all kind of unfortunate, but eh, whatever. I actually think it's easier to snipe the production buildings than it is to snipe this guy right here, the, the con. Oh, we're out of barracks. Uh, let's see if we can just make it with boyars right now, and then we can uh, look at the Pechnegs and the Volga Bulgars. Oh, wait, crap, they rebuild stuff! Damn you! Okay, change of plan. We're going after the dude. How many scorpion bolts can one con take? Come on. I don't care, Trevor. Okay, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. Please tell me that does something. Oh my god, please tell me that does something. It doesn't do anything! Oh no. Okay, I mean, I guess I'll take that. The art assets are starting to disappear. You know that's when things are getting crazy. Okay, focus the important buildings, please. Actually, let's add in some rams now. Oh wait, these guys. What the hell are you guys doing? Oh, there's another one. That explains it.
No, stop it, you! Wait, no. Don't stop it. No, you! Stop it! Okay, now these guys are coming in. Okay, you guys can, I don't know, mine gold all the way down over here. Are you not dead yet? Die! There we go, boys and girls. Just as he ran out of food over there. That's just a regular mill. Wait, are these all farms? <gasps> Wait, can I actually farm these? Oh, yeah. Now that's a little bit more unfortunate. Boyars aren't amazing against cav archers. They're kind of slow in their, you know, high in melee armor, not pierce armor. I'm actually running out of stuff. Okay, this is going to be a good new point from which to uh, launch future attacks. It's a boar! It's a singular boar! Gimme! Ugh. Three hundred forty-ish food, a little bit less. But I'm just going to take all these farms for all they're worth, man. Tons and tons of gold over here. And then we can go after the Petchen eggs next. No, 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 wait, don't, don't go after those farms. I need them. Okay, now we can go across the river here. Start, like, I don't know, like a castle right here. Sounds good. More 700 food. All right. Lots and lots of resources. I'm actually starting to feel a bit optimistic. Let's speed this up a little bit. Oh, I did not mean to do that. I mean, the Volga Bulgars are still very scary. Like, very scary. The patch and eggs, I think, shouldn't be too much of an issue.
I mean, yeah, this is like whatever. Go get him. I'm actually changing my hotkey to just be the local castles. Here we go. Okay, patch eggs have to be, yeah, they're right here. Take those farms, no shame. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. I mean, we have our 85 HP halves. We can conquer the world, or at least the Volga step. But our population's like actually climbing above 100 now. I'm so excited. Oh, you're so stuck. Bill count is actually looking okay. Oh, there are so many resources over here. Wonder how much stuff the Petchen eggs have. Bulgarians will definitely be a more of a challenge though. Didn't really expect much from these guys and they're kinda falling easily. It seems like they just occasionally get resources tributed to them and they don't have economies of their own. Okay, let's go for it. Oh boy, some forage bushes. All we had to do was take down yellow, and then our uh, our prospects improved drastically. No, don't chase the random scouting units. Oh, we got so many resources. Okay, I think is that going to be it for the Petchen eggs? Okay, here they come. It's the vulgar bulgers. They didn't, you know, swear all the time, man. Oh. Oh, we're like right here. Okay, now this probably makes more sense to do the whole smash and grab sort of thing like we did yesterday. Or at least yesterday when you guys are seeing it. It's actually later the same day as I recorded part one. Okay, we're just gonna start popping buildings. 
Bulgarians have a pretty scary late game. Okay, Petronegs are actually not defeated just quite yet. Okay, there's one Khan. Get him. Get another town center, because we are... <laughs> we're fighting the nomads. We are the nomads. Oh my god, he's still alive. Alrighty. Moving on up. Let's see if we can get to him now. But we're still plowing through the southern part of the space. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at these bastards farming. Oh, you guys are stuck as hell. Oh, we'll send the Scorps to deal with those. We can uh, build some more production buildings over here. How many barracks are over here? I got a couple. can build on that number. Start mining gold over here. Actually, we can start mining a bit more stone. You know, just to be safe. Wait, I got like some of these farms. Looks like the uh, the change ownership ownership trigger is a bit off. Oh, man. Feels so good. Feels like just 28 minutes and 7 seconds ago that uh, we had, like, nothing to our name. It seems like the food trickle is pretty decent at this point. I'm not too sure exactly how much it is. Uh, that was a bit of a boo-boo. Oh boy, lag time. I just freed all of those Konex, didn't I? <laughs> the sea drams are blocking him! Okay. Get you? Nope. Guess there's another one over there. And we're running a little low on stuff to my taste. Oh my god, we're in Lag City. Lag City, USA. Or Russia. Oh, the pass through damage. Oh, there's there's Khan. 
Khan! If you're wondering how many jokes I can make, uh, how many of that joke I can make in a single video, uh, a lot. Well, that was unfortunate. Now her population's looking uh, <clears throat> not so great again. That's fine. We just need to recollect ourselves. Oh, we got the patch and eggs. Don't know how. And there must be another one. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Hello? You know, I'll be honest, I didn't ask for 38 elite boyars, but uh, I'll take 38 elite boyars. And not complain. Okay, where's this last con? Ah, here he is. Yeah, now we can keep going. One more. One more, guys. Did not know this would be a Philadelphia one. Oh, wait, we didn't have to do all of them. Oh, yeah, we're definitely the strongest prince. Our ambitions on the south were implemented. We're moving back to home. Yay. Oh, my God. Yeah, uh, to get the outro stuff, because I loaded to save again, I'm going to have to do the good old uh, restart and then IR winner. 2,507 kills, 1335 deaths. Yellow is the strongest enemy. Which was kind of surprising. I guess Volga Bulgaria had the most, but they weren't as aggressive, I guess. Purple was also really annoying. I guess they didn't have infinite resources. Oh, okay, no, they got tributed a bajillion. But they still collected a fair amount. As you can see, we really didn't collect that much food. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. That was a grind and a half. But you know what? We got her done. Oh, that's right. It's a bug. So yeah, I'm going to need to IR winner it, but then I won't get the medal. But I think the next scenario should load. Okay, yeah. Sviatoslav defeated the Bulgars and the Khazars both in their very backyard, I asked the young emperor. I could see the surprise in his eyes. Yes, my son, the Byzantine Empire can be very grateful of this victory because the Khazars' defeat stooped them low before the eyes of their neighbors and within their own cognate. They never rose to such strength again. The traitors were able to swim across the Don, and this is only thanks to the Russian Prince Sviatoslav. You see, they are might not as evil as you might think. Well, that's always nice. All right, guys, that was Volga Steps. Yeah, that was definitely the hardest one by far. Whew, but we got it done, we got it done. Next up will be the friend or the enemy. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.